May 4, 2021 Devotional Guide 1 Samuel chapter 6 to 8 1 Samuel chapter 6 verse 1 Now the Ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. Two and the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do with the Ark of the Lord? Tell us how we should send it to its place. Three so they said, If you send away the Ark of the God of Israel, do not send it empty, but by all means return it to him with a trespass offering. Then you will be healed, and it will be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. For then they said, What is the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden tumors and five golden rats, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For the same plague was on all of, of, you and on your lords. 5. Therefore you shall make images of your tumors and images of your rats that ravage the land, and you shall give glory to the God of Israel. Perhaps he will lighten, be, his hand from you, from your gods, and from your land. 6. Why then do you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts? When he did mighty things among them, did they not let the people go, that they might depart? 7. Now therefore, make a new cart, take two milk cows which have never been yoked, and hitch the cows to the cart, and take their calves home, away from them. 8. Then take the ark of the Lord and set it on the cart, and put the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in a chest by its side. Then send it away, and let it go. 9. And watch. If it goes up the road to its own territory, to Beth Shemesh, then he has done, see, us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that struck us, it happened to us by chance. 10. Then the men did so, they took two milk cows and hitched them to the cart, and shut up their calves at home. 11. And they set the ark of the Lord on the cart, and the chest with the gold rats and the images of their tumors. 12. Then the cows headed straight for the road to Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and did not turn aside to the right hand or the left. And the lords of the Philistines went after them to the border of Beth Shemesh. 13. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted their eyes and saw the ark, and rejoiced to see it. 14. Then the cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh, and stood there, a large stone was there. So they split the wood of the cart and offered the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord. 15. The Levites took down the ark of the Lord and the chest that was with it, in which were the articles of gold, and put them on the large stone. Then the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and made sacrifices the same day to the Lord. 16. So when the five lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Ekron the same day. 17. These are the golden tumors which the Philistines returned as a trespass offering to the Lord. One for Ashdod, one for Gaza, one for Ashkelon, one for Gath, one for Ekron. 18. And the golden rats, according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines belonging to the five lords, both fortified cities and country villages, even as far as the large stone of Abel on which they set the ark of the Lord, which stone remains to this day in the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh. 19. Then he struck the men of Beth Shemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. D. He struck fifty thousand and seventy men of the people, and the people lamented because the Lord had struck the people with a great slaughter. The ark at Kirjath Jerim 20 and the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And to whom shall it go up from us? 21 So they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kirjath Jerim, saying, The Philistines have brought back the ark of the Lord. Come down and take it up with you. Israel defeats the Philistines 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 1. Then the men of Kirjath Jerim came and took the ark of the Lord, and brought it into the house of Abinadab on the hill, and consecrated Eleazar his son to keep the ark of the Lord. Samuel judges Israel too so it was that the ark remained in Kirjath Jerim a long time, it was there twenty years. And all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. 
3 Then Samuel spoke to all the house of Israel, saying, If you return to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtoreths, e, from among you, and prepare your hearts for the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you from the hand of the Philistines. 4 So the children of Israel put away the Baals and the Eph, Ashtoreths, and served the Lord only. 5 And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray to the Lord for you. 6 So they gathered together at Mizpah, drew water, and poured it out before the Lord. And they fasted that day, and said there, We have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel at Mizpah. 7 Now when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel had gathered together at Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard of it, they were afraid of the Philistines. 8 So the children of Israel said to Samuel, Do not cease to cry out to the Lord our God for us, that he may save us from the hand of the Philistines. 9 And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him. 10 Now as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day, and so confused them that they were overcome before Israel. 11 And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines, and, g, drove them back as far as below beth Car. 12 Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and called its name, H. Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. 13 So the Philistines were subdued, and they did not come any more into the territory of Israel. And the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. 14 Then the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel, from Ekron to Gath and Israel recovered its territory from the hands of the Philistines. Also there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. 15 And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. 16 He went from year to year on a circuit to Bethel, Gilgal, and Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. 17 But he always returned to Ramah, for his home was there. There he judged Israel, and there he built an altar to the Lord. Israel demands a king 1 Samuel chapter 8 verse 1. Now it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. 2 The name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second, Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. 3 But his sons did not walk in his ways. They turned aside after dishonest gain, took bribes, and perverted justice. 4 Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah, 5 And said to him, Look, you are old, and your sons do not walk in your ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. 6 But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. So Samuel prayed to the Lord. 7 And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people in all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. 8 According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even to this day, with which they have forsaken me and served other gods, so they are doing to you also. 9 Now therefore, heed their voice. However, you shall solemnly forewarn them, and show them the behavior of the king who will reign over them. 10 So Samuel told all the words of the Lord to the people who asked him for a king. 11 And he said, This will be the behavior of the king who will reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for his own chariots and to be his horsemen, and some will run before his chariots. 12 He will appoint captains over his thousands and captains over his fifties, will set some to plow his ground and reap his harvest, and some to make his weapons of war and equipment for his chariots. 13 He will take your daughters to be perfumers, cooks, and bakers. 14 And he will take the best of your fields, your vineyards, and your olive groves, and give them to his servants. 15 He will take a tenth of your grain and your vintage, and give it to his officers and servants. 
16 and he will take your male servants, your female servants, your finest, I, young men, and your donkeys, and put them to his work. 17 he will take a tenth of your sheep, and you will be his servants. 18 and you will cry out in that day because of your king whom you have chosen for yourselves, and the Lord will not hear you in that day. 19 Nevertheless the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but we will have a king over us, 20 That we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. 21 And Samuel heard all the words of the people, and he repeated them in the hearing of the Lord. 22 So the Lord said to Samuel, Heed their voice, and make them a king. And Samuel said to the men of Israel, Every man go to his city. A song of praise to the Sovereign Lord Psalm chapter 97 The Lord reigns. Verse 1. Let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad. Two clouds and darkness surround him, righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Three a fire goes before him, and burns up his enemies round about. Four his lightnings light the world, the earth sees and trembles. 5. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. 6. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. 7. Let all be put to shame who serve carved images, who boast of idols. Worship him, all you gods. 8. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. 9. For you, Lord, are most high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. 10. You who love the Lord, hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints, he delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. 11. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. 12. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks, b, at the remembrance of, c, his holy name. Jesus counsels the rich young ruler Mark chapter 10 verses 17 to 34 17 Now as he was going out on the road, one came running, knelt before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? 18 So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is, God. 19 You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. 20 And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. 21 Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him, and said to him, One thing you lack. Go your way, sell whatever you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. 22 But he was sad at this word, and went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. With God all things are possible. 23 Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. 24 And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is, a, eh, for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. 25 It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. 26 And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? 27 But Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. 28 Then Peter began to say to him, See, we have left all and followed you. 29 So Jesus answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother, b, or wife or children or, c, lands, for my sake and the gospels, thirty who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands, with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. 31 But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Jesus a third time predicts his death and resurrection. 32 Now they were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was going before them, and they were amazed. And as they followed they were afraid. 
Then he took the twelve aside again and began to tell them the things that would happen to him. 33. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles. 34. And they will mock him, and, d, scourge him, and spit on him, and kill him. And the third day he will rise again. Paul urges forgiveness 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1. But I determined this within myself, that I would not come again to you in sorrow. 2 For if I make you sorrowful, then who is he who makes me glad, but the one who is made sorrowful by me? Forgive the offender 3 And I wrote this very thing to you, lest, when I came, I should have sorrow over those from whom I ought to have joy, having confidence in you all that my joy is the joy of you all. For for out of much, a, uh, affliction and anguish of heart I wrote to you, with many tears, not that you should be grieved, but that you might know the love which I have so abundantly for you. 5. But if anyone has caused grief, he has not grieved me, but all of you to some extent, not to be too severe. 6. This punishment which was inflicted by the majority is sufficient for such a man, 7. So that, on the contrary, you ought rather to forgive and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one be swallowed up with too much sorrow. 8. Therefore I urge you to reaffirm your love to him. 9. For to this end I also wrote, that I might put you to the test, whether you are obedient in all things. 10. Now whom you forgive anything, I also forgive. For, b, if indeed I have forgiven anything, I have forgiven that one for your sakes in the presence of Christ. 11. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Triumph in Christ 12 Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, an A.C. door was opened to me by the Lord. 13 I had no rest in my spirit, because I did not find Titus my brother. But taking my leave of them, I departed for Macedonia. 14 Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ, and through us, d. diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. 15 For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. 16 To the one we are the aroma of death leading to death, and to the other the aroma of life leading to life. And who is sufficient for these things? 17 For we are not, as, e, so many, peddling, f, the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. Reflection for Mark chapter 10 verses 23 to 25 Is there anything in our lives that we treasured most that is why we cannot serve, follow or obey God 100%? If what that is, try to let it go of it and trust God to replace it with the things that has eternal value. For what is more important? Is it the things we have here on earth which eventually when we die we cannot bring it to where our soul should be or a life entrusted in the hands of God with the promise that when we die we have eternal life by surrendering our lives to Jesus to be our Lord and Savior? The choice is ours. I hope and pray we chose what is right in the eyes of God. Please read the description below if you want to surrender your life to God by praying the prayer of acceptance. Blessed be the reading of his word in Jesus' name, Amen.